When you see the Benz logo, what comes to mind? Luxury cars, yes, or the power statement you make when you own a Mercedes-Benz automobile. As much as you would desire to ride one someday if you aren't yet, it is an added advantage to know the history of this well-known company. This is what I will be showing you in today's video. The co-founder of Mercedes-Benz, Carl Benz and the events that led up to this accomplishment. To make it easier, we will be looking at history in 10 facts. Do stay tuned and click the like and subscribe buttons to become a part of this community. Carl Friedrich Benz created the first internal combustion engine-powered car in 1885. Inspired by his aptitude for mechanical engineering and curiosity about the emerging idea of horseless carriages, it's difficult to think of a greater significant contribution to the history of transportation, yet Benz remained a key player in the automotive sector throughout his tirelessly inventive career. 1. Although Benz was raised close to poverty, he showed an early interest in engineering. Karl Benz was born on November 25, 1844, in Karlsruhe, Germany, and had a difficult upbringing. When he was just two years old, his father, a railway engineer, passed away from illness, and his mother battled to provide for him. But Benz's intelligence was evident even as a young child. In particular, his prowess in engineering and mechanics struck out. He was able to assist financially by mending watches and clocks because of his innate talents. In the Black Forest, he even constructed a darkroom where he produced photographs for visitors. 2. Benz created innovative engine technologies despite financial challenges. After earning a mechanical engineering degree from the University of Karlsruhe, Benz worked in a variety of professional positions before settling in Mannheim, where he founded an iron foundry and sheet metal workshop with his business partner, August Ritter. The company struggled, but Bertha Ringer, Benz's fiancée and soon-to-be wife, used her dowry to oust Ritter, who was proving to be an untrustworthy partner and preserved the business. Despite the difficulties of running a business, Benz managed to carve out time to construct the horseless carriage he had long envisioned and create several groundbreaking parts. 3. His revolutionary two-stroke engine came after a string of significant discoveries. Benz obtained multiple patents for parts that would be used to produce his two-stroke engine and eventually go into his first car. These included the clutch, carburetor, gear, ignition, spark plugs, and throttle. He finished the engine in 1879, and the following year he was granted a patent for it. 4. In 1883, he established a new business called Benz & Sai. Notwithstanding his innovations in engineering in the late 1870s and early 1880s, Benz was dissatisfied with the limited prospects to advance his concepts. Because his backers were reluctant to give him the time and funding he required, in 1883, Benz established a new business, Benz & Company Rhenish Gasmotor and Fabric, or Benz & Sai. Due to the early success of this fledgling business, Benz was able to advance the creation of his horseless carriage. 5. The first vehicle to be sold on the open market was the innovative Benz Patton motor wagon in 1888. Benz soon realized his ambition when he had the flexibility and resources to work on his horseless carriage, and in 1885 he debuted a revolutionary motorized tricycle. Benz's automotive design was filled with revolutionary design elements, including wire wheels and rubber tires instead of the wooden wheels that were typical of carriages and a rear-mounted engine. Nonetheless, the adoption of a gasoline-powered internal combustion engine was its most important invention. Earlier self-propelled carriages were powered by cumbersome, ineffective steam engines. The groundbreaking automobile created by Benz heralded the arrival of a more usable and realistic consumer vehicle. 6. Bertha Benz used a long-distance drive to demonstrate her husband's invention. Bertha Benz, who, lest we forget, used her dowry to fund the creation of the horseless carriage, decided to take the patent motor engine no. 3. On a cross-country journey to promote her husband's invention. She began a cross-country journey between Mannheim and Forsheim on August 5, 1888. It was the first time an automobile with an internal combustion engine had been driven across a sizable distance. It garnered a lot of attention as a result. Bertha made a historic trip without alerting Carl or getting permission from the authority, and it turned out to be a clever marketing gimmick. 7. As Benz and Sai expanded, it started to create more reasonably priced mass-produced cars. Sales of automobiles started to soar around the end of the 19th century, and Benz was well-positioned to dominate the expanding industry. The company created more affordable, mass-producible models in response to the rising demand. The four-wheel, two-seat velocipede car that Benz sold between 1894 and 1902 is frequently referred to as the first mass-produced automobile. 8. The innovations of another German engineer, Gottlob Daimler, rivaled Benz's. 
German engineer Gottlieb Daimler followed in Benz's footsteps in developing the internal combustion engine as the power source for the vehicle. In actuality, Daimler's engine is thought to be superior and was patented five months sooner. However, Daimler mounted his engine to a bicycle, whilst Benz mounted his on a tricycle. As a result, Benz is frequently given more credit as the creator of the internal combustion engine. The competition between Benz and Daimler was intense, and both men constantly sought to surpass the other. The Daimler motor carriage, which Daimler revealed in 1889, was quicker and more potent than anything Benz had produced. In 1892, Benz developed a four-wheeled automobile in response. 9. The renowned Mercedes-Benz Company was founded in 1926. Benz and Daimler never actually met, despite having careers that overlapped and a fierce rivalry. Even though Daimler passed away in 19 his business, Daimler Motor and Gesellschaft, carried on and remained Benz's main adversary for the first two decades of the 20th century. Both Benz and Daimler experienced difficulties during the post-World War I economic crisis, connecting them in the same way that their early success did. The two businesses concluded that working together would give them a better chance of surviving. In 1924, they subsequently ratified an agreement of mutual interest. Finally, Benz and Sy and DMG merged to form the Daimler-Benz Company on June 8, 1926. The Mercedes 35 horsepower, which was named after the designer's 11-year-old daughter, Mercedes Jelinek, and was DMG's most popular model, would serve as the inspiration for the Mercedes-Benz nameplate used by the new firm. 10. A year before Benz's passing, the legendary Mercedes-Benz SSK was introduced. With its eye-catching new three-pointed star logo, which represents Daimler's credo, engines for land, air, and water, the Mercedes-Benz brand immediately became well-known, and sales skyrocketed. The Mercedes-Benz SSK may be the best vehicle to illustrate the new brand's rapid rise to prominence. The SSK, which was introduced in 1928, was Ferdinand Porsche's final creation for Mercedes-Benz before he left to found his own business. It signaled the beginning of a fascinating new class of sports cars. Only 31 SSKs were produced, yet they were fast, attractive, and sought after enough to become among that era's most recognizable automobiles. It served as a potent symbol of the advancements made in the automobile sector in the 40 years since Carl Benz initially showed his patent motor wagon. Several of Benz's discovery and innovations are still used in cars and trucks today, and his name is still associated with the Mercedes-Benz automobile brand. There you have it. The history of Mercedes-Benz and the life of one of the founders, Carl Benz. Thank you for watching this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications so you'll be the first to know when we release a new video. Bye.